are we going into a recession? So uh, like I, I mentioned before, a lot of people here know the technical definition of recession, two consecutive quarters with negative GDP. Um, we're certainly looking at first quarter uh, being projected as being negative. Uh, and we'll confirm that when that comes out. Second quarter being significantly negative. So yeah, I, I think it is safe to say we are in a recession now. They're, technically, we'll probably wait till the end of the second quarter to, to call that. But a uh, recession is nothing more than an economic slowdown. And what do we know that's happening um, from you know businesses that we interact with, from places that we live, we know the economy has slowed down based on this pause button that's been hit. But, but what we know we can, can confidently say as well is recession does not equal housing crisis. Um, recession means economic slowdown, not necessarily housing crisis. And I pulled this quote from Mark Fleming at First American. It says, many still bear scars from the Great Recession and may expect the housing market to follow a similar trajectory in response to the coronavirus outbreak but there are distinct differences to indicate the housing market may follow a much different path. And while housing led the recession in 2008 and 2009, this time it may be poised to bring us out of it. So we know that when we mention recession, consumers hear this is 2008 all over again. And I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, but what we know is that while our business was literally at the middle uh, of the economic downturn in 2008, um, this time with the low, uh, inventory across the country and with the economic impact that happens uh, at the purchase of a home and construction of a home and sale of a home, uh, we are poised as an industry to help pull our economy out. Uh, and that's important to remember. Um, the next quote I pulled was from Doug Bryan, um, who's CEO of Mind Property Management, kind of a consulting firm. Uh, it says, with the exception of two recessions, the Great Recession from 2007, 2009, and the Gulf War recession from 1990 to 1991, no other recessions have impacted the U.S. housing market, according to the Freddie Mac Home Price Index. And that comes from data collected all the way back to 1975. So when we go all the way back to 1975 to today, and we look at recessions across this country and their impact on, on home prices, there are two that stand out as being um, showing depreciation. One is 2008, which we all remember. Uh, the other is in, in 1991. Uh, if we look back, there were actually five recessions during that time. Three of those five, we saw appreciation uh, during that actual recession. So that came out from Freddie Mac and the Home Price Index. Uh, this is a graphical representation from CoreLogic, and it, and it lines up with what, uh, what we just read. We all remember 2008, close to 20% depreciation. But then when we look at the four recessions prior to that, only one, 1991, saw depreciation. So interesting graphic to get out in the market. You may have seen this before, but I, would, I always say this, don't fall to the, um, the curse of knowledge, meaning you may know it, but, but the clients that you serve may not know it and most likely don't know it. Maybe referral partners that you do business with may not know it. And so uh, keeping that in mind is, uh, is big.